in Star Wars canon, we have only ever seen a Dark Lord of the Sith use a lightsaber that was the color of blue or green a single time. This time being when the fallen Anakin Skywalker, now Darth Vader, used it to carry out the initial stage of the Jedi Purge and battle his former master Obi-Wan Kenobi on Mustafar. So this raises the question, can Sith Lords use blue or green lightsabers and is it allowed for their use within the Order? Let's begin and explain why the red lightsabers have become a staple of the Sith Order. In Legends continuity, the red crystals were usually synthetic, meaning non-naturally occurring, and were often created by the Sith in bulk. In canon, however, this was not the case. In the recent Darth Vader comic, Darth Sidious explains to Vader that each lightsaber crystal in itself is alive, and because it is alive and is connected to the Force, it can feel pain, and as a result of that pain, it can bleed. This bleeding of the lightsaber crystal causes it to change red in color, and explains why Sith lightsabers are always red. This process fully explains the Sith's stance on the Force, as instead of working with the crystal to create a color that fits its wielder, the Sith corrupt and force it to do their own bidding. This was a custom of the Sith that was passed down through the generations, and it is likely that all Sith Lords, if given the opportunity, created red lightsabers and were discouraged from wielding any other color of a lightsaber. Again in the comic, when Vader brings up losing his lightsaber to Obi-Wan on Mustafar, the Emperor corrects him and again calls it a Jedi weapon, and not a weapon used by the Sith. The only reason Anakin used a blue lightsaber after becoming Darth Vader is because that was the only readily available lightsaber at the time, and he needed it to battle the Jedi. We know that lightsaber crystals are extremely significant to both the Jedi and the Sith, and can even interfere with their connection to the Force, and even hold the ability to call out to certain people. A great example of this being Anakin's lightsaber calling to Rey in The Force Awakens. The allegiance of the weapon, or more specifically the crystal, is a spiritual one between its wielder, or in the case of the Sith, its master. The Sith master their weapons, they control them entirely and feed off of the pain of the crystal as it fuels their own inner darkness and keeps them connected to it. We have seen before, if Darksiders lack a deep enough control over their corrupted lightsaber crystals, it can turn on them and potentially even be lethal. This happened in the Ahsoka novel when an Inquisitor's lightsaber crystal called to Ahsoka and she eventually used them to destroy him as his weapon exploded, killing him due to the crystal being unstable. So to answer the canon explanation, no, the Sith are not allowed or rather believe that they should not wield either blue or green lightsabers. The red color is significant to them because it fully symbolizes their entire view on the world world and the force itself. It serves their purposes, not vice versa. In fact, all Darksiders who imprint on a clear crystal will always achieve a red color, as the story executive of Lucasfilm was quoted saying this, If the user is aligned to the dark side, the lightsaber will invariably turn out red. This is a very important statement, as it shows if the user is attached to the darkness, it will always be red, even excluding other colors like purple or yellow. This also explains that the crystal color has to do with the dark side of the force overall, not just the Sith Order. This means that all Darksiders will achieve a red blade. This does not mean though that a Darksider cannot use a lightsaber that is not red, as we have seen this many times. In The Force Awakens, Kylo Ren even seeks out Anakin's lightsaber despite it being blue in coloration, because of the fact that it belonged to his grandfather Darth Vader, and that is significant to him. The explanation for Legends continuity, however, is different. In Legends, we have seen Sith use different colored blades other than just red, such as the likes of Darth Revan who used a purple lightsaber for a period. Also notably, the Sith Lord Exar Kun used a dual-bladed blue lightsaber. The reason for this, however, is quite intriguing. It is likely Kun only used this color blade because he was unaware of the custom of the Sith and having a red lightsaber. Before Kun's fall to the dark side, he was a Jedi, and he simply continued to use the blue weapon just as many of the Jedi that fell away as well and followed him did as most of them also kept their original Jedi lightsabers despite becoming Sith Lords. So to answer the big question posed at the beginning of the video, in Legends, it is indeed forbidden in a way for a true Darksider or Lord of the Sith to use a lightsaber that is not red, while in Legends, it is explained more as a custom that is passed down rather than the color being inevitably crimson. So what are your thoughts on this explanation and the fact that 100% of the time Sith lightsaber colors in canon should be red in coloration? Also, as a big question for the end of the video, I want you to comment what color your lightsaber crystal would be. Not the color you would want the most, but the color you think your crystal would become if you imprinted on it. 
If you would like to join me in the daily Star Wars discussion and debates, follow me on Twitter at StupendousWave. Link will be in the description. If you enjoyed this video and feel it deserves it, it would really help me out if you could leave a like. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel to keep up to date with everything Star Wars related, from news, explanations, and theories from a galaxy far, far away. If you have any video topics you would like to see addressed in a future video, do not hesitate to leave them in the comments below the video, or again, tweet them at me. As always, your viewership and support means the world. May the Force be with you, and have a great day.